Hello everyone. Today we are going to break down a powerful technology concept called change data capture, which is really, really important. Uh, this sounds complex, I understand, but the idea behind it uh, is incredibly simple and efficient. So first let's understand what is it, right? So in, in simple terms, change data capture is a process that identifies and captures changes made to data in a database and then that changes will be delivered though uh, you know to the systems in real time for example it can be to a kafka topic or something right so let's assume this is our database right and this is our kafka topic where i am gonna stream all the data that is being updated every second right so let's assume that for every second there is a new data that is getting added into this database so this is a database and for every second there is a new record that is being added or updated so in order uh, i want to stream this change or updates into my kafka ecosystem so i need to either send all of this you know data again and again you know after every second so that will uh, take a hit on the database performance so instead what we can do is uh, you know we can just send the changes or the updates that's what change data capture is all about so uh, just just to give you some more example uh, uh, for example imagine a book which contains all of your company's sales record so let's assume this is a book which contains all of your company's sales record right now uh, <clears throat> uh, what happens is uh, in the very beginning you will have very less records but imagine uh, another department like analytics uh, needs an up-to-date copy of these records every single hour so for every single hour uh, the analytics department in your uh, organization needs the updated record of the sales so the old way of doing this would be to you know copy this entire book every hour just control uh, c and control v every hour right so this is slow and uses a lot of resources and puts a heavy load on your main system so you're going to copy millions of old records just to get a few new ones right so now instead of copying the whole book you just had a system that automatically noted down only new sales that was updated so let's let's say there is a, a automated system which is running and its job is just to make sure whatever the new update is there to keep those information and send it to the users right how cool is that so that's what change uh, data capture or cdc does so it doesn't look at the entire database uh, it just watches for what's new and what's been updated and what's been deleted so all these things uh, it is going to look right so that's about uh, now uh, how you know cdc works and the solution that it is offering now what is that we want to learn so why is it so important why cdc is considered so so important in in the data platform side so firstly it allows different system to have the most current information almost instantly right so you are not waiting for a nightly or hourly bulk update so as soon as a change is done uh, this automated system will look into it and it will automatically deliver the changes to the users who are waiting for it so that's uh, why it is called as real time right so that's the first point secondly it dramatically reduces the amount of data being transferred so instead of moving terabytes you might only be moving a few kilobytes or gigabytes of uh, change data so this saves network bandwidth and computing power so previously you might be sending you know terabytes of data because you used to send the same data again and again after every hour but with this approach you can actually drastically reduce the data being transferred next is uh, the reduced system load because you aren't constantly querying the entire database so it reduces the performance impact on your primary uh, or the operational uh, systems so that's uh, very very crucial uh, that's low impact for you and it simplifies the data sharing between a growing number of systems so let's assume that in future you want to share this uh, you know information or the data with you know quite a lot of team members in your 
um, in your organization. Then this simplifies the data sharing uh, between the growing number of systems uh, in the, for the future requirements as well. So that's uh, important. Now uh, let's understand where exactly these uh, change data captures are actually being used. And uh, I have come up with some uh, use cases that can help you understand this. So firstly, uh, uh, this is a classic example, right? So in, it's used in uh, you know data warehousing and analytics. So CDC is used to continuously feed changes from your live production uh, databases like sales or customers, right? So sales or customer information uh, into a data warehouse or data lake for uh, real time analytics or business intelligence. Next is microservices, which is again uh, another important thing. So in modern application design, different services often need to be aware of data changes in other services, right? So that's where CDC can help you. CDC is a perfect way to keep these uh, services in sync without, without them having to constantly ask each other for the updates, right? So the automatic system will keep the note of all the changes it has occurred and it will give you the uh, only necessary information. Next, a zero downtime uh, database migration. So when you are migrating from an old database to a new one, so you can use CDC to keep the new database synced with the old one while uh, it's still alive, right? So uh, with this, once they are perfectly in sync, uh, you can switch over with zero downtime. So that's very, very important because I've seen people using this uh, in production. So uh, this is one of the key factor. Whenever I talk to most of the customers, CDC is what they look for. And for last or the last second one is auditing and uh, compliance. So you can use the stream of changes to create a detailed audit trail of every modification to your data. It, it also used uh, it. It's also used to keep cache updated and ensures users are always see the uh, seeing the fresh information rather than uh, looking at the stale data. Right. So that's why uh, it's also important caching uh, again. Now, a change data capture is a smart way to synchronize data. So instead of repeatedly copying everything, so it just identifies and sends the changes. Uh, so the new ones, the updated ones or the deleted records. So it's faster, more efficient and enables the real time flow of information that powers modern data driven businesses. I hope you understood what uh, CDC is and how it is changing the game in data platforms and where exactly we are utilizing CDC. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this, please drop them in the comment section. I'll, uh, I'll try my best to answer those questions. And if you're uh, really liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.